Hi guys, it is another gray, gloomy day here in the end times. I guess we're in paradise, somewhere in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, heading towards Charlottesville here on this gray Tuesday morning. Uh, that would be September 11th, 2018. September 11th. Uh, I know that name means something. I'll have to figure that out. Try to remember what that's all about. But anyway, guys, I have a lot on my plate, particularly planning for my upcoming trip tomorrow to North Carolina, where your old doomsday tourist searching the globe for where to spend a few days. And it looks like North Carolina is calling me, so you can look forward to that. So I got a lot on my plate. Oh yeah, and I gotta take this little dog to the vet. Yes, the little dog has a bone stuck in his throat. <clears> Gotta <throat> deal with that. So I'm, I'm really, uh, for the Doomer headlines, there's really only two stories. Hell, hell, there's almost really only one story I need to read uh, that pretty much connects all the dots that I talk about here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to read this whole story verbatim from the French News Service saying it all. Tanzanian president seeks end to contraception. There you go. President John Magufuli has urged Tanzanian women to give up contraceptive methods, insisting that his country needs more people. Hmm. Quote, you have cattle, you are big farmers, you can feed your children, why then resort to birth control? This is my opinion. I see no reason to control births in Tanzania. I have traveled to Europe and elsewhere and have seen the harmful effects of birth control. Some countries are now facing declining population growth. They are short of manpower. Hmm. It is important to reproduce. Women can now give up contraceptive methods. Magafuli urged Tanzanians to ignore the bad advice disseminated by outsiders. There you go. And just in case you're uh, interested, Tanzania now has a population of around 60 million people, up from 10 million people at independence in 1961. And my guess is that probably half of those people are under 25 years of age. The UN predicts Africa's population will double to around two and a half billion by 2050 and on to four billion by 2100, leading to warnings of a demo demographic time bomb. Yes if economic growth and job creation cannot keep up. There you go. Uh, I mean, what, what else does a doomsday prophet need to add to that story? Yes, it is important for Tanzanians to reproduce. And it is important for my battery charger. I think my battery charger might finally have bit the dust. Anyway, as long as we're somewhat on the subject of overpopulation, U.S. News and World Report has given us a survey 
of the 10 largest cities in the world today and then we're going to look ahead into the future how this list is going to change more than half of the world's population 55 percent now live in cities yes but by 2050 that figure is predicted to jump to 68 percent according to the United Nations Department of Economic and Social, Fair, uh, Social Affairs. As the world continues to urbanize, a handful of countries will account for much of the growth. Between 2018 and 2050, the UN estimates 35 percent of urbanization will occur in India, China, and Nigeria alone. So today about 4.2 billion people live in cities with North America, Latin America, and the Caribbean making up the most urbanized regions of the world and Africa today remaining the most rural. Alright, so here are the world's 10 largest urban areas are what the UN calls urban agglomerations. Urban agglomerations, starting with number 10, and we're going to work up, see if you know. I knew what number one was, and it's kind of surprising. All right, anyway, number 10 is Beijing, China, with a population of about 18 and a half million. Uh, I remember reading something that Metro Beijing is, is going to have some ungodly number of people. Uh, anyway, as if 18 and a half million. And pretty much neck and neck with Beijing is New York City, including Newark. New Jersey population 18.65 million. New York has a population twice the size of LA, which is our country's second biggest city. Uh, okay, number eight, pretty much neck and neck with number 10 and nine, would be Cairo, Egypt, coming in at 18. 0.82 million. Yes. Number seven is they combine the cities of Osaka and Kyoto, Japan, coming in at 19.3 million. All right. Number six, Mumbai, India, formerly known as Bombay, India coming in at 19.32 million. Number five, Sao Paulo, Brazil, coming in just right around 21 million, just shy of 21 million, uh, including one and a half million Japanese people. Fourth largest, Mexico City, 21.34 million. Uh, as a result of water shortages and drought worsened by climate change, some parts of Mexico City are sinking at a rate of about 12 inches per year. There we go. Okay, number three. Shanghai, China, coming in at 23 and a half million. Number two, Delhi, India. Delhi, India, right around 26 million. And the number one biggest uh, city in the world, bar none, way ahead of Delhi, India, would be Tokyo, Japan, with over 37 million people uh, as the world's biggest 
urban area, Tokyo, Japan, has a population that accounts for more than a quarter of all of Japan. And when you add Tokyo to uh, Kyoto and Osaka, that probably comes up to pretty much half of Japan. But of course, the good news is Japan uh, is, is actually going to start shrinking in population as India uh, overcomes China and three out of four people on the planet expected to be born in sub-Saharan Africa. So let's move ahead 17 years from now where we see Tokyo, Japan, and Delhi, India flipping places as Delhi, India is expected to have a population in 17 years from now, 43.35 million. Where are they now? Uh, 26 to 43. Good Lord, 17, that's 1 million people per year. 1 million people per year pouring into Delhi, India. But Japan, I mean, sorry, Tokyo is actually going to shrink by 1 million people uh, over the next 17 years. And then we have Shanghai, China now coming in number three at 34 to third million people. And number four, uh, number four, which is nowhere even in the top 10, Dhaka, Bangladesh at 31.23 million people. Uh, again, I'm reaching for my bullshit detector button. Uh, Dhaka, Bangladesh. We will see about that one. So Cairo, Egypt will come in at number five at 28 and a half. Mumbai, uh, number six, 27. Point thirty four million. Number seven is our first sub Saharan Africa city, uh, Kinshasa. Is it, uh, of course, now my computer uh, has now decided to eat the story, but it's Kinshasa in the Congo. And uh, I guess that's it. We will not know. Okay, my computer has come back. All right, and the last three, if I can ever get back to this. Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of the Congo, right around 27 million. Mexico City will dropped to number eight, 25.4 million. Beijing, China be number nine at 25.37. And Sal, Brazil bringing up number 10, 24 and a half million. And we shall see about all of that soon enough, uh, especially that Bangladesh call. Anyway, guys, uh, that's really all I have time for to share with you today, but I think that's enough doom and gloom. Right, right there is enough doom and gloom, so I've got to uh, get on the road and find a vet for my sick little dog. Hang out with Osama on September 11th, and then off to North Carolina for your doomsday tourist and his sick little dog. Bye, guys.